I will take a look on the YouTube channel just to be sure that everything is set up properly. So um, in the meantime, other artists will join us uh, tonight. I'm really excited to be with you. I'm a little bit nervous as well. So. Okay. Hey, hi, Shanna. I'm glad you're here tonight. Okay, perfect. So, um, Shanna, I don't know if you're still there, but could you just send me a message to tell me if you're listening to uh, me very well? Does the sound, uh, is the sound okay? Hi Lisa. Okay, I heard me. So, welcome to my free mastery class. Uh, I'm really glad you are here. Um, it's an honor to me um, to be able to share with you my art. As you may notice, um, I have a French accent, so I will make mistakes during this live stream. I'm sorry, uh, I'll try to do my best. So, um, tonight we're gonna learn how to um, paint painting like that with cells and I'm going to share with you a lot of tips. So, um, what thing you can do to improve your, uh, your art what not to do because it happens sometimes we make mistakes so we'll I, I've learned a lot uh, with my mistakes so I will share with you a lot of tips so um, I'm really glad to be with you tonight most of, of, uh, of artists know uh, know me uh, from Instagram YouTube Facebook yeah. so um, if you haven't subscribed yet to my Instagram account, you can just scan, I'm not sure if you see it very well, the, the little logo uh, behind me, so just scan it and uh, you, will, um, uh, you will find my Instagram account. From, then, uh, from there, you can access my website, uh, my YouTube link, uh, but you're already on my YouTube channel, so okay. Um, that being said, I have some notes on my table because I'm very nervous, so I don't want to forget uh, anything tonight. Here, okay, first thing first, it's really important, there is two giveaways tonight. So, I will share the link after um, the masterclass uh, in, the video, in this video and also on my Instagram account. So you can subscribe until October 1st, midnight. So two giveaways, don't forget to subscribe. Tonight, if you have questions, I won't be able to answer them because I'm working on the painting and on the technique, but there is two friends, uh, PBO friends, that will be uh, here uh, directly in the chat. So if you have questions, feel free to uh, write them uh, on the chat. And if we're lucky, I talked to Nancy Wood, the artist who um, created this product with PBO. So she might be there tonight in the chat too. So feel free to ask questions. Um, Nancy is a wonderful person. She is really kind, really sweet. She's really human, so do not hesitate to ask questions. And my two friends from the video, Pamela and Mike. So if you see their name, they uh, are going to answer some questions. So as I mentioned, we will work with this project tonight. Um, I will give you a lot of tips. Um, you'll be able to work with this product but also the technique i will show you, uh, you 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 can be able to do it with what you want but the easiest way 
to get cells, it's this product. Okay, so as I mentioned, Nancy Wood is a British artist. Um, she's one of the, the, the first artists who work with cells. So you, you, may be, you might know a lot of artists uh, on the internet that uh, are used to work with cells, but Nancy Wood was one of the first um, to work with that kind of um, technique. Yeah. So um, tonight, if you bought this product, I will use those colors, these colors. So I will work with the purring medium, the catalyst, so the catalyst is the medium B. Uh, will the color uh, arc, purple, the black, um, the green blue is a turquoise. Uh, yeah, blue turquoise. And the titanium white here. So you'll be able to create almost the same painting as mine. Also, if you bought the Discovery set, you have this knife. So it's really uh, interesting because when you start a new technique, um, you have to buy a lot of things. You have to buy a lot of things, and um, this kit is a complete kit. You have the green medium, you have the catalyst, you have the paints, and you have the knife. So, okay, so I will just put this things uh, aside. I will put this one just here. And again, just to be sure, uh, I'm going to say something in French. So, alors pour ceux qui sont peut-être euh, joints à moi ce soir en français, juste pour vous dire que sur mon compte YouTube, vous avez cette classe qui est offerte en français. Ce soir, c'est en anglais. So, um, I just want to be sure that if we have French speakers uh, online, uh, I will refer them to the masterclass I did last week. Okay. So, um, the supplies I will use. So, depending on the size of your canvas, you might work with different knife. Tonight, I'm going to use a knife that is similar in the discovery set. So, everything would be, uh, will be with this kind of knife. And um, bigger is your canvas, bigger you have to choose, um, the bigger the knife should be. Um, okay, um, the canvas I'm going to use, it's a gessoed wooden panel. Um, mine is from PBO. Um, you already have borders, uh, edges here, so if I put my paint uh, on the surface, it won't uh, drop on the table because they have already edges borders here. If you work with um, a traditional canvas, I suggest you to add a tape, like a frog tape, all around your canvas, just to be sure when we will add the underlying uh, the background, the pillow paint, that won't uh, drop on the table. So, okay. Um, oh, I'm um, forget. Okay, the present. So, if you bought the the in, in, in anyone um any project from Ultimate Pairing Medium the small one, the bigger one, the discovery set. Um, you can join the um, free Facebook advanced class of Nancy Wood. So um, I will share the link uh, in the video description after the, uh, after the, the class. So it's, it's free uh, if you bought one of the products uh, from Ultimate Green Media. Also, if you want to go um, further in the knife technique, just let you know that uh, Nancy would also um, offer a, a bigger masterclass. And I just forget something. Where is... Um, 
my little little hold on a second wow. here in each box of ultimate pouring media you have this flyer in this flyer you have all the recipes I'm going to show you tonight, I'm going to explain to you, but also you have a link for a masterclass, and this is the Nancy Wood Masterclass. So you buy the, pro you buy the product, and then you can subscribe to uh, the masterclass. It's free, and you can see, uh, you can watch the, the masterclass a number of times. There is no limitation so uh, it's really 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 interesting because you don't you not only buy a product you also have a free master class included okay so we'll start with um with 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 with, with the mixing product okay so um what is very important before starting to mix your product, be sure, uh, make sure, sorry, make sure to shake well every bottle. Usually do it three or four hours prior to your painting sessions, just to be sure that air bubbles, um, you won't have a lot of air bubbles. So I will shake it. I will have air bubbles, but you know what, I prefer to shake it now because it's really important to be sure that all the product, the product is well mixed together. This is the same thing with the um, medium B, the Catalyst. Uh, most of you maybe know uh, the name Cell Activator. Uh, this product, the name is Catalyst, but it will create cells. Make sure to shake well because you uh, might uh, you may notice that there is a deposit at the bottom of the bottle. So shake well before to use it. Okay. So um, I'm gonna make um, a painting with a white background. I already mixed uh, some colors because. Um, you will see it takes time to uh, mix all the colors. It's usually three minutes mixing, mixing time per uh, colors. So if you have five colors, you have 15 minutes of mixing time. So um, I will take my um, little cup. So. I'm used uh, with the PBO um, little cup because they have uh, units on it, so it's really easy to mix uh, the products because I know how much I uh, I add, uh, how much I add um, medium, how much I add paint just with the unit here. But if you don't have unit here, how to mix your product? And all I explained to you tonight, I'm going to write it down in the video description. So uh, don't be stressed. Um, I will share with you everything. So for the background, for the pillow paint and for colors. Okay, here are the recipe. Nine parts of pouring medium. So this is the medium A. So nine parts for one part, uh, one part of um, titanium white, white titanium white. Because if you uh, if you're working on a white background, you you're going to mix your uh, titanium white first. Mine is already mixed. So what I'm going to show you it's my color. So this is the same recipe. I'm going to add nine parts of pouring medium for one part of paint. So, here I have a little cup. So, as I said, nine parts. 
parts. Sorry. One. Oh, I think it's not going to be. Um, it's too small, I think. Yeah, okay, sorry. My cup is too small. So on your side, add nine parts of your unit. It could be a spoon, it could be, uh, I don't know, a cup. But for me, I'm going to use the unit. I'm not sure if you're uh, seeing this, but I have some information. So I will add 90 millimeters of pouring medium and 10 millimeters of paint. This is equivalent. Nine part of um, of pouring medium is indeed nine, uh, ninety ninety uh, percent of uh, pouring medium, and one part of paint is going to be ten uh, ten percent of paint. So those ratios are equivalent. So I added ninety millimeters. So I'm going to add ten. Um, 10 millimeters of, uh, of color. I'm going to mix the purple one. So I'm just to be sure that I see the, the I see, okay. Yep. And then you start mixing minimum three minutes and it's really 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 and really important a lot of artists will make mistakes just because they haven't um, mixed uh, enough time so that this is really important because you have two products two products and the cup you have the pouring medium and you have the paint and if you want that both mix properly together you have to mix minimum three minutes and I'm not kidding if you not respect this rule you won't regret it I will show you after maybe one minute you see there is a lot of um, unmixed product I will continue to mix and the thing what is really 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 important and I will add it it's if you like the color with your pouring medium so as you see it's a, a light purple and if you want that color when the, the paint is dry be sure to add tiny um, titanium white why the pouring medium is white when it's wet but it dries clear so as you can see color right now is a little bit different it's really lighter but it will dry this color so if you want to keep it um, shiny vibrant be sure to add just a little bit titanium white And then keep mixing. Another tip, it's really really important. After the three, three minute mixing time, if um, your mix is too thick, um, add a little bit drop of water. If it's too thin, just add a little bit more paint. So don't worry if it's not the right consistency you can add water you can add pouring medium you can add paint and the right consistency 
should be like cream or wine, uh, warm honey. Okay, I will continue. Okay. And I will start explaining to you the catalyst while mixing my thing and multitask. Okay. Um, the recipe that is shared with the flyer um, or on the um, masterclass of Nancy Wood uh, works very well. But you know, artists, we are very, um, we are artists, so we, we would try other recipes, we find other recipes. So tonight I'm going to show you other recipes because I think it's really important to know that there is a lot of, um, of recipes out there and for someone the first recipe worked well, for another one the, they, they could prefer the second recipe. So tonight I'm going to show you two different recipes for the cell activator for the catalyst. Okay, oh, look at this. Uh, I hope you see well. Okay, so for the black catalyst, you need, I'm going to show you two equivalent recipes. Okay, you need four parts of paint. So, for the black catalyst, four parts of paint, three parts of pouring, uh, sorry, medium B. Uh-uh. Sorry, my bad, my mistake. Okay, get it over. So, four parts of medium B. Okay, four parts of medium B, three parts of black, and three parts of water. Okay, so I repeat, four parts of medium B, three parts of black paint, and three parts of water. In percentage, 40%, 30%, and 30% of water. But tonight, I'm going to um, to show you the other recipe. So, the 433 works for the black catalyst and the white catalyst. But I'm going to show you another recipe for the white catalyst. And it's really, really, really simple. It's half and half. So, 50% of medium B and 50% of colonics from PBO. So, half and half. Really easy. So, two, two cups here. Mm. And make sure to have some napkins because if you're like me, um, I will make mess everywhere. So I always have a lot of napkins. Okay, so half color. So, half and half, as you can see, and I will mix them together. So, like I said, three minutes mixing time. Okay, here and here. And also, if you know me well, you know that I'm a lazy artist, so I always have a bucket of water. I drop my stuff there, they clean themselves, and after that it's more easy to clean up the table. Okay, so, before I make another mistake, I will uh, put this aside. 
Okay. So now, trim it. And we mix it. And after that, I'm going to explain and show you the knife technique because all my products will be ready for my painting. I really hope you enjoy yourself tonight because I'm enjoying myself. Okay, look at this. So I'm going to mix two minutes more. And I totally forgot to put my gloves and to put my apron. And it's really important for the catalyst and you'll see with the pre medium too to mix three minutes not just because you want to be you want to make sure that all products are well mixed together but also there is a chemical reaction so um, and it's totally normal so when you mix it will become a little bit thicker and this is what you want because if it's like water and it's it's too uh, thin you won't have beautiful cells and this is uh, the most common mistake so again be sure to mix three minutes uh, do you see it's more like three now yeah Okay, I'm gonna put my apron on and my gloves. And before starting the technique, I'm going to explain to you the importance of practicing puddles. Why? Um, the knife technique is a tricky one. Once uh, you get it, it's fantastic, but um, you have to be sure that when you swipe with your knife, you don't swipe um, too hard because you will remove all the paint. But also if you swipe too soft, too softly, uh, you won't get cells. So it's really important to practice puddles before starting your painting. And, and almost plus, almost. Um, you'll see if your catalyst is well mixed. So, we're going to try puddles here. This is a silicone mat, so uh, it's easy to wash it after that. So, I'm going, oh, I think, oh, hold on a second. I'll just... Puddles. One puddles here, second puddles here, the third puddles here. And I'm going to try to test the white and my black because um, I already prepared my black catalyst. So, how you add um, the cells on your paint, you have to load your knife. So there is, you can add paint with the mixing stick or what you can do also is make it a, a white puddle and swipe and load your knife on this. 
So if I check if my catalyst works well, I'm going to swipe a little bit over my purple. Wow. I don't know if you see well. Um, I'm going to practice my three puzzles and after that I will make a close up just to be sure that you see everything. I'm going to test also my black catalyst and as I said, be, uh, make sure to clean your knife properly before loading it. It's really, really important. So, uh, here we go. And I'm going to test my last puzzle. And you can mix catalyst, so you can load your knife uh, the half part with white and the last part with black. It will make something very beautiful um, on your painting. There you go. Okay. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, make sure that um, the video you'll see uh, properly how I make the painting. So I will adjust the, the screen. So give me five, ten seconds. Okay, so this is my puddles. Okay, so I will put this aside and we're going to start the real painting. Perfect. Okay, so add five puddles on your painting. I suggest to start with the middle. And few bottles here, and then you will make sure that you have. you have um, the base layer all over your canvas or your uh, wooden panel it depends what you your what you're using so I'm sorry uh, I'm moving my my panel This is not a race. Oh, 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 oh. I have something here. Okay, so this is not a race. So take your time. It's really important to take your time to make sure that you have paint everywhere. And also, you may you may notice that there is a lot of um, air bubbles. Uh, no worries. Uh, most of them are going to uh, to uh, to disappear when it dries. But um, if there is still pine hole, 
you can just cover your um, your painting with um, a, a, a resin top uh, top coat or um, or um, varnish. And I'm going to, okay, it's almost done. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so what I love to do when I start um, my painting is to add a, a black in the background. So I'm going to load my knife with the black catalyst and I'm going to swipe on my paint, uh, on my painting, on my paint, yes. So, um, here. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? A lot of cells. A lot of cells. Wow. So just clean your knife and reload. I'm going to make another one before adding my colors. So here I load my knife with the black catalyst. And then I'm going to swipe again. Here. Now, what I'm going to, to do is uh, I'm going to add some colors and go with the flow, go with your emotion. Uh, emotions go with what uh, you have in you don't overthink uh, art it's um, it must come from um, heart not from the mind so um, just try it there you go I'm going to add a little puddle here of purple I'm going to uh oh to add blue I'm going to add yellow up here and I'm going for sure to load my knife and I'm going to use the white catalyst here. I'm going to that's this and here. No need for speed. And what's it, it's interesting with the technique, it's if you don't like something, you can um, you can swipe over again. So I'm going to add a little bit more color here, and I'm. Here, I'll start with this and the arc, and again the purple, it's what I feel so. And I'm going to add more white, so here, and I'm going to try. Here. Ah. Okay. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more um, turquoise. Uh, and the thing is, it's really hard sometimes to stop swiping your painting because we always want to add an extra swipe or uh, an extra colors and 
sometimes we have to stop. But now I think I'm gonna add more colors on my painting. So I'm gonna add this, I'm going to add this one, and I'm going to make a double swipe, so half with white and half with black. So first one white and the second one and black. Here, like this. layer of um, aquaquoise just here and I'm going to show you with a um, with an, um, a whole um, a close-up soon so don't quit I'm going to show you a big close-up Okay, so in white. Okay, hold on a second, I'm going to show you the close up. So, as you can see, there is a lot of cells. You have black, you have white. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, I hope you really enjoy yourself tonight because I was really happy to be with you. Um, I really hope I gave you all you, um, you were expected uh, to learn about the, um, the, the, the new project of Ultimate, Ultimate Korean Medium, but also with the knife technique. So um, before uh, ending the session, remember that the mixing for the background and colors is nine parts of medium A, the pouring medium, for one part of paint. The catalyst, the black catalyst, you will make it by mixing four parts of medium B, three parts of paint, black, and three parts of water. You can make the white with the same recipe, but also you can make the white catalyst with a half and half a recipe, half medium B and half color X, the white color X. Um, also, make sure before starting your painting to practice with puddles. It's really, really important to, um, to, to understand what strength you have to add on your knife when you swipe your painting and for sure um, the um, one of the thing I, I still struggle with is how to know when it's time to stop touching swiping your painting because we always want to add something else but sometimes the something else is just too much so Make sure to know when it's time to stop. If you like it, 
don't touch it. So um, don't forget, there is two giveaways. I'm going to show you, uh, to share with you the link on my Instagram account and also in the video descriptions. Um, and 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 I think oh 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 I totally forgot to mention that. Oops, oh, bad 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 bad. Okay. All Ultimate Purring Maiden products are available in Canada at the Sire, in USA at the Blick, but you can also buy it online at Amazon.ca and Amazon.com. So I think it's pretty much all I have to uh, I have to share with you tonight. Thank you so much for being there. And I send you kisses, hugs, and see you soon. Bye-bye.